Hey everybody, it's Craig Betty here, and I just realized I've never done a video like this, what's in my camera bag. So in this video, I'm going to show you everything that's in my camera bag for my trip to Iceland. All right, let's get started. So this bag is awesome. I've had it for years. It's called the Think Tank Airport Accelerator. And what's great about this bag is that it meets international travel requirements. So you can take this on as a carry-on. So you just throw it on. It's a backpack. It's got a handle so you can carry it like a suitcase. It has a lock here as well so you can lock it. And it just comes on just like a backpack would. You just throw it on your back. And then also on the other side, there's a mount for your tripod as well. So when you get on location, you could put your tripod here. And the great thing is you can bring it on the plane with you. It goes under the seat in front of you or it can go in the overhead bin. So I'm gonna show you everything I'm bringing. This is more of a landscape filmmaking type of trip. So I'm not bringing any portrait lenses, just uh, landscape. Anyway, let's go through this. I'll show you the three different cameras I'm bringing on this trip. All right, we'll start with the top and then we'll work our way down. And you can fit an amazing amount of stuff in here. So in the top part here is a compartment where you would keep all of your memory cards, lens pens, things like that. There's a number of different pockets. I don't put too much there because it's on the exterior side. I think I'll put the rain pouch in there, but I've got a lens pen in there. Most of the stuff I keep in the interior of the bag. But what's great about this bag is that you can put a laptop inside this so you can travel with a macbook pro or a mac air whatever it is that you bring you can pack that inside and bring it on the plane with you so i'll get to this thing here in a second but you can see right here i've got room for my macbook pro and i also have a case and that fits right on the top of that so in the top pouch there so we've got the macbook pro this i'll talk about in a second and then also in here too i've got the x-rite color checker and I use this for exposure. So I'm filming this on the Panasonic GH5. I'll save this camera to the end of the lens I'm gonna bring with that. But I do all my video with the Panasonic GH5 and this can help you set your white balance, a custom white balance on location. This can also help you set your exposure using the white with the waveform. So I've also got that in there as well. And then that's about it for this top pouch. So this top pouch, you can put your laptop, anything that's large and sort of somewhat flat fits in the top part there. But then when you open the bag, there's just so much room and you can configure it any way you want. I'll show you the inside here. So this top part here is where you can put a lot of your accessories. So you can put your memory cards, your ND filters, any kind of cabling, extra batteries, or you can put them down here as well. So let's go through everything here. We'll start with the stuff at the top. So. We'll start at the top here. This is a case for memory cards. So this is a Delkin devices. You can put all your SD cards in here or your micro SD cards in there. And then also in the top two, this is from Think Tank and you can put your XQD or CF cards. So those are a little larger. So I have a different case for those. And then you can see, I just have a converter for my MacBook. Cause that's a USB-C now. And this is just a backup cable for a Mavic Air. I'll get to that in a second. So that's that first one there. Then I have some ND filters for the GH5. So I got a couple of lenses. We'll get to that in a second for the GH5. So I have those. Then I also have ND filters for the Mavic Air. We'll get to that in a second. So I have two sets of those, Polar Pro and Free Will or Free Well. And then the bottom one, we have cables here. I could probably manage that a little better. And then again, this is just a case for an ND filter. And then I've got the color checker passport, although I'm not doing any portraits. Eh, I might not bring that with me. I'll put that, I'll throw that on the floor for now. And then also too, I have a remote release. So I'm gonna be shooting some landscape photos, or even if you want to do some selfies, this is a remote release for the Nikon D850. And then you can just push the button and it'll take your images for you. And so that's about all that in these compartments here. So let's get into the actual stuff that's in the bag. You can see this is starting to pile up pretty quick. So the main camera body. So for stills, I'm shooting with the Nikon D850. So it's right here. And I'm only gonna bring one lens for stills and that's the new Sigma 14 to 24 F 2.8 lens. You can see it's just a, uh, it's a massive lens really. And uh, this probably just came out in 2018. The only problem with this lens though for landscape right now is there's not too many filter choices. You can't put just a screw on filter. You need a mounting system. And I think there's maybe only one company right now that has an adapter for this and I wasn't able to get it in time. So that's a downside right now, but the adapters should be out in several months for the Sigma 1424F 2.8. So this is gonna be my main stills camera, the Nikon with the Sigma lens. So that fits in here perfectly. And the GH5 just fits here too. You can fit two different camera bodies. Let me just tilt this up so you can see all the different compartments in here. So if I tilt this up, you 
you can see that there's room for two camera bodies and then you can configure all of these compartments to fit whatever you like. So you can see I have the Mavic Air here and we'll go through all these things. I just want to show you sort of the inside of the bag. So that's my main stills camera. So for doing aerial photography, I've got the Mavic Air and you can see how small it is. It's just a little bit bigger than my iPhone. And so this is awesome for 4K video as well. And then also you can put the controller in this bag. So there's the Mavic Air controller right there. And then we also have a backup hard drive. I have two of these I'm gonna bring with me. That's the uh, Lacey Rugged. And then we've got our XQD. That's for the Nikon and SD card. That's the reader for that. So that fits in the bag as well. Now also here I have the charger for the Zientec crane. So that fits in here. And then I'll show you, I've also got the Zientec crane in here. So you have to take it apart and you have to rebalance it because it doesn't work that well in the camera bag. If you've got all this set up and balanced for some reason, it just doesn't fit. So when you go on location, you have to rebalance it. So I've got the different pieces here. But one cool thing too, I wanna show you about this is it's a good idea to get a mini little tripod. So then you can sit this down wherever you are and balance it properly. But anyway, that fits in here. The Zientech crane fits in here. So this is for just stabilized shots when I'm shooting with the Panasonic GH5. Now also in here too, you can see we have the charger for the Nikon D850, that fits in here. We also have the charger. That's the charger for all the batteries for the Mavic Air. Then you can see here, we've also got the charger for the Panasonic GH5. So lots of different chargers. But also one tip too, is if you're traveling on airlines and you have uh, lithium batteries or for the Mavic Air, or you can get these little LipoSafe bags on Amazon. And so I've got my Panasonic GH5 batteries in here. I've also got my Mavic Air batteries in here. You can see I also have my Nikon batteries. I have the batteries for the Zientech crane. And then over here, they have one that they make for a three pack of Mavic Air batteries. So you can see I've got my Mavic Air batteries, like I said, and the Zientech crane <laughs> batteries. Then I got the Panasonic GH5. So I've got three batteries for the GH5, three batteries for the Nikon, three batteries for the Mavic Air, and then just one set of batteries for the Zientech crane. They last a long time, surprisingly. And then also we have some cabling for the uh, power adapter for the Mavic Air. So you can see all that fits in here and the GH5 and the lenses for the GH5. So I'm bringing two lenses for video. So the one that's on the camera right now is the Panasonic. It's equivalent to a 24 to 70. And then this one is a 15 mil, which is equivalent to a 30 mil. And this is a prime lens. And I like this for doing the Zientech crane shots because it's a very small and light lens and it just balances well and it's sharp. So that's what I use when I'm walking around with the Zientech crane. So let's check out the Panasonic GH5 and how that looks. All right, the video you're watching now is shot on the Nikon D850. This is my main video camera. It's the Panasonic GH5. I've had this for over a year now. And the main lens is the 12 to 35 and the 24 mil equivalent is 24 to 70. So that's the range of this lens. It also has image stabilization. And for the mic, I'm using the Rode Video Micro. So it's a good vlogging type camera because what I like about this compared to the Nikon for video is that it has the flip out screen. So you can flip it out, turn it around and face yourself. And so you can have this on the Zientech crane and it has a selfie mode. So you just hit the button on the crane. The camera will spin around and face you. You can do some vlogging. And another reason why I like this, one is the size. I found the larger Rode mic, it wouldn't balance very well on the gimbal. And also too, this mic doesn't use a battery. So you don't have to worry about the battery. So that way you can just plug it in and not think about it. So there's times where I forgot to turn on the regular Rode mic. And if the Rode mic's not on, it doesn't record any audio at all. So this is just one less thing to think about. Plus it's small and portable. It also has a little uh, windsock. It's over there, but it comes with a little windsock too if you're outdoors. So this is my main sort of video setup for the behind the scenes. So I'll be shooting some 4K video with this. And what I like also too, is this has a flat color picture profile you can shoot in V-Log, which will give you a little bit more dynamic range than if you shot in different modes. They don't have a mode like that on the Nikon, so that's why I have the Nikon for stills. It's a great stills camera. You know, it's 45 megapixels, great stills camera, but this is a great video camera. And then for the drone, I've got the Mavic Air. Here's a great tool to put in your bag too. So if you're changing lenses, you find that you have maybe dust on your sensor or dust on your lens, you can use that. And also too, I wanted to show you something. I got the landing pad for the Mavic Air. So if you do fly a drone, this is kind of cool. 
I found I ran into some problems with gravel and things like that. So with this, you just sort of pop it up on location and hopefully you can see all of that. And if it's right in your camera bag, it makes for an easier takeoff and landing if you're somewhere with some dusty conditions and things like that. All right, so that's the stuff that I'm bringing. If it was a portrait shoot, I'd bring my Nikon 105 F14, maybe the 50 mil, maybe even an 85 mil, but this is more of a landscape and filmmaking trip, so that's the gear I'm bringing. But let me know what you bring when you're traveling. What camera bag's your favorite? What kind of stuff do you put in it? Let me know in the comments section below. Anyway, if you found this video helpful or interesting, give me a thumbs up. And if you're not already a subscriber, just hit that subscribe button. I come out with a new video every week. Also hit that bell notification and you'll get email updates when I release my weekly video. All right. Thanks for watching this video. Give me a thumbs up and I'll see you when I get back from Iceland.